Hey, traders. Happy Saturday to you. Hope you had a good one. Or you're gonna have a good one this evening, whatever. Spending time recharging batteries or 
If not, hopefully you've had uh, some luck trading, whatever. There's been opportunity. I can't believe it, right? I mean, but it just seems more often than not, <laughs> since October anyway, like weekends have been incredible uh, culprits for, you know, it's just those Fridays and you're just getting the development of the trade setup, and then Friday is like it's primed and it's like ready. And then like on the weekends, sometimes you start, you begin the trade setup playing out or whatever. So it's just, it's cool to see that kind of a weird dynamic um, where normal market conditions, not so bullish conditions, that doesn't happen very often. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll look at some of those. And it's mainly all the new S coins, not really the older ones. Some catching bids like Cardano's good, man, right? ADA, hey, it was still bullish above 30 cents, all right. Well, it broke out for real after the little fake out because of Bitcoin, it's fine. It's up 15% today, right? Uh, ICX up 7.5%. Tezos up 6%, uh, Ethereum's up 5%. Ethereum's now outperforming Bitcoin. So that Ethereum and BTC chart probably looking good. We'll take a look at that too. Who knows how long the stream's gonna be with it being Saturday. I don't know, man, just hanging out, keeping you updated, doing what I do every day, right? So, uh, Okay, so you're above 35K, that's that's the big deal. You know, there's no edge on Bitcoin right now. You know, people are gonna be screaming, you know, dude, it's crazy, you know, looking at the general chat when the sell-off was just methodically, it was just barely, it was done a 35.3, but there were people like, I told you, oh my God, we're going to $19,000. <sighs> like mouth breathing, freaking out, being extremely emotional, which is like kind of the opposite of what I try to teach for trading and stuff. And it's just like, it, now look at it. It's up almost $1,000 from the lowest point. It's just, it's the weekend, man. Price moves and the percentage change isn't that different than it was way back, right? Um, it's just the price changes and people are so affected by it. So um, anyway, how about uh, you read Trading the Zone? You stop any any little move, stop freaking out about it, dude. All right, so again, not much movement on Bitcoin. That's not really the story of the day. Centerpiece conversations, these uh, newer S coins. Let's go to Ethereum real quick. I'll show you the outperformance, right? Where Ethereum is uh, rallied from its high to low, I would say 78% of the way. And it's at the major 886, which we knew would be a resistance. It pulled back there, but it's still fine. And I see a, a possible XABCD. If this was C, if we just pivoted making a higher low after, look at this first rally, took you 78% of the way. I guess this was an 886. It took us 78% of the way, right? Then you pivoted, made a higher low. That is the exact characteristic this is what it looks like before a bullish butterfly is painted, okay? So if this is actually gonna go up and hit at least the 1272 to 1618, I mean, this is going all time all time highs. I think, I think even the 1272 is above all time highs. Yes, it is. Okay, so no matter what, if this pattern plays out, we're going to all time highs on Ethereum. And if you break all time highs on Ethereum, you're in price discovery mode, I think it would get, 1272 would probably go higher than one, the 1469, all right? Yeah, that, that is real, kind of. Look here, this high, then the slightly higher high with, yep, yeah, discernible lower levels of positive momentum. I mean, that could be bearish divergence right there. So you got to be mindful of that. But uh, remember, the Ethereum to BTC chart, super big deal. And it's implying that Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin. It's doing it today as it's recovered much better than Bitcoin has from its uh, previous high. So... Remember, Bitcoin was at 42K here. Ethereum was at 1346. Bitcoin's at 36K now. Ethereum's at uh, like $1,300. All right, so you can see it's ETH to BTC pair is great. It's it's being respected, right? What does that chart implies that Ethereum will outperform? Here it is. It's happening right now. Okay. So that's Ethereum, big one, Litecoin in good shape. Uh, pretty good, and it's, it was better earlier. But look, man, between 137 and 146, if you can hold this, man, if you can hold this zone long enough after making a higher low there, I you really do have a good shot of 173 to 179 again. Okay, you just got to find bids. This is extremely sensitive to Bitcoin's price action. But hidden bearish divergence played out. You can't say there's 
classic bearish divergence like Ethereum right now just because it's a lower high just be bearish convergence. So uh, it's above the 200 moving average. Yeah, and it, it impulse down could be just flagging negatively. I think Bitcoin will dictate where this thing goes next. Really not a, you know, this isn't groundbreaking or anything. Look, you know, this high from December 27th, you're above that. You held it uh, yesterday. And if you stay above that long enough, all right, probably gonna catch more bids. All right, so uh, those are like kind of the big three. I guess we would look at polka dot now because if you haven't noticed, let's just let's just look at it together, okay? Oh my god! I have the button on my stream deck. Hold on. Let's look at it together. This is it. This is a big deal. This is a huge deal. Well, it's not really. I mean, it's it's already happened, right? Polkadot, number four ranked cryptocurrency and market cap sixteen billion dollars. All right, it's on its way. I mean, I don't think it's going to be breaking tethers market cap anytime soon, but uh, pretty pretty interesting. It's well above XRP's market cap. I think XRP has tremendous amount of uh, downside potential based on its market cap. I think it could it could go so much lower because of that. I mean. Right uh, now, you got Kraken delisting it. It's just the the bad news just keeps getting worse for XRP. So that right there, 12.7 billion leads you to believe, oh, it could get so much worse for this asset under investigation by the SEC. Being it's already being sued by the SEC. So good luck. Yeah, keep keep uh, drinking the Kool Aid if you don't believe that. Okay. All right, Polkadot, uh, well, we talked about the targets yesterday, uh, 1555 and 1760. We, I didn't really talk about a target above the 4236 FIB extension. Nope, now $20 would be the target above the 4236 FIB extension. I haven't touched that yet. You may not. I don't, it's a very real psychological resistance, man, like hardcore. All right, I'll just have it. Oops. I'll just have it plotted there. 20 bucks, man. Maybe we'll set up an alert on it too. That's where Link went to. Link went to uh, $20 this summer before it sold off and it's finally, I mean, after many months, it took like five, six months for Link to make it back to $20 and then, and now to break it, which is, uh, you know, it's down 2.4%. Right? Up thrusted above all-time highs well it's visible on the day it's, it's just weird on I mean the wicks don't exist on the four hour but it's there on the daily so just trust me on that I mean I can look at it so you can see it but you're back below that wick high but um, let's look at the daily remember the idea was 24 to 28 dollars you got to 23 plus almost got to 24 freaking dollars almost got to the 1272 fib extension but as you can see you're below it and the highest level where traders settled up ever on Bitcoin yesterday, but before that was in August at 1919, right back here, August 15. So I think you stay above 1919 long enough, you got a chance, but oof. So it's, it's a big pullback. Probably Bitcoin has something to do with it. But hey, how did it all start? Remember, this is why you watch the stream, because we identified classic, class A bullish divergence. You ne traders never settled up lower than that 200 day moving average, just held above 1122. And you thought, okay, 1333, you break that. Well, then you're going to 1650, you break that. You're going to 1918, you break that. I mean, all time highs. So that's where we are, man. Pretty crazy. There's, I mean, you could try to say there's bearish divergence. I think it's far, it might be too early. You need some more data, right? It could be, right? What happens if, if Link just catches bids again and keeps going to 24, 26, $28? It's just going to pick up and then invalidate the potential bearish divergence going on right now. Yeah. Can you hear me? We've got an audio check. Don't worry. I, I hate the way my mic sounds. I hate the background noise. I did adjust a little bit more with the noise filter, but I don't think it's going to do crap. I don't think it did anything. But you can hear the music, though. That's important. I don't think yesterday you could really hear it. Just reviewing it. Sweet. We're solid.
Oh man, Saturday. Saturday, most markets closed, but not crypto. Not crypto at all. We're Link and Dot, all time highs. Cardano up 14% now. Huge, mega sized bullish engulfing candle on Cardano. You broke out. You're above 30 cents. That's a huge deal. It's not a joke, man. Not a joke. Uh, support resistance looking left just a little bit from April 2018. And uh, next target, I mean, really, you'd think 37 cents. Uh, this is on the weekly, or I'm sorry, on the four hour. I, I, no, that was on the monthly, I think I plotted that one, that uh, 36.18. Maybe, yeah. Now, look at this on Cardano. You are doing something incredible, okay? Like, you're doing something groundbreaking that just uh, means a lot here. Let me, hold on. Look at this. Where traders settled up at their highest level ever on the monthly, at least for on this chart, okay? And I know there's more data, but like at least on this chart, you're breaking the highest level, right? And so you'd think the next target on the monthly would be 38.6 cents, man. That's it, okay? So, uh, cool. That's just happening right now. Remember how it all started, the monthly rising three methods, bullish continuation pattern, Japanese candles. It's beautiful, dude. This will be legendary. This will be in textbooks, man. The loose mind. Just kidding. But uh, four hour, you know, after the stupid fake out. Hey, thanks, Bitcoin. That's what happens, man. Um, it, you got right back up, and you, as long as you were at 30 cents, everything was good. You stayed above it. Even talked about it yesterday. The trade looked fine still, right? And uh, look at us now, you know, hitting the highest level on Cardano we've seen in multiple years. Okay, it's been multiple years since Cardano has seen 36.6 cents. We got that earlier today, and now you're below it. You got to break that, though, man. You got to break it so we can hit the target of the uh, descending broadening wedge, which is 41.9 cents. Excuse me. Hold on. Hello, dead chat. <clears throat> Y'all there? We cool? Worth it to go live on Saturday? I mean, there's so many tendies. No one's here? Yep. Not on a Saturday, dude. What's up? Thanks for the 1,280 people here, actually. Whew. Oh, wow. What's up, BK? Hey, uh, yep, got you, dude. Got you taken care of. You did. I saw that. Actually, because of you and a couple other people, we've uh, dedicated a new chat to that stuff. So, what's up, Tug Fu, man? Bruh. Watching the stream with my girls Brooklyn, Jada Lynn, and Baby Gracie. Baby, greetings from Tindy Town, California. Can we look at Adam aka Cosmos, please? Spin for the win. Fill sure, the Tegafu, man. Money back. Money sure. back. Money back. You at Outlying Islands. Got to get the last hey, part. Mitch, what's your go to app? Service. Hold on a sec. Or Thank you, dude. To remove the noise of so many coins and find an entry on an asset based on a set of requirements? My brain, literally my brain. All right, you have to learn a system and you to perfect it. Like when I all the trade setups that patrons are getting, it's just like me like pulling at something and sizing it up and be like, hmm, good or bad. Yeah, thanks again, BK man, for the twenty dollars super chat. Tug food, thanks for twelve. Beat up, thanks for the ten. Uh, yeah, we'll look at Cosmos <clears throat> or Adam. Yeah, it's Adam is Cosmos. Uh, and shout out to Gracie, Jadalyn, and uh, Gracie. You got a good dad. All right. All right spin, you say? All right. The most adult thing about this channel. Requested by the most wholesome family man. Irony? Sorry to get you must drink. Sorry to. Okay, uh, yeah, CRV killed it, man. I'll get to add that one to that newer S coin list. Um. It's China to me, China, China. Hello, little kid. Various evidence led me to believe XRP will destroy the SEC lawsuit in China again. 
whereas BTC will get raped by the tether accusations. Totally wrecked, you will lose everything. Also, Nvidia sucks. JMO isn't back. 0.0032613 EDH. Imagine spending your time doing that. Futility chat. Don't get caught up in futility. Futile efforts that won't mean anything and it's just stealing your time doing that, you know? Focus on things that matter. Like watching this stream for the real reasons of like, hey, trying to learn more about swing trading, not being an XRP Kool-Aid drinker, all right? Weird, really weird, dude. Anyway, thanks for the interaction, I guess. So yeah, B-Dub, I mean, service, app, strategy, to remove the noise of so many coins. <clears throat> you have a watch list, you create a watch list, and you scan, it's called working. You have to work, you think, oh, I mean like, the thing that su sucks maybe kind of is like, when I'm not live, no one sees what I'm doing. So like, you know, what if I'm, I mean, I'm spending a lot of time scanning charts and looking for setups and whatever. So you have to, I mean like, analysts and uh, techni equity technicians and stuff that work at institutions in, they'll look at 100, 200 plus charts a day, you know, I mean, so <clears throat> in the end, you have to put in the work. Just like I can teach you everything, but you have to be able to apply what I'm teaching, so. Okay, so uh, it was, the, it was uh, Adam Cosmos. Now, on stocks and equities, I'm looking for just straight up with nothing. Uh, Finviz.com's good. You gotta use the, learn how to use that filter. Here's Cosmos that hit the first target of the trade setup posted for free live on stream back in like, I don't know, maybe like four or five days ago. You know this, this is, just go look at the evidence. Uh, that's the beauty of live streams. Or everything's done on the fly, and this it's is like posted good. live. So you just go back to I'm five, six streams ago, look for the Adam ticker. So when we set this up and we talked about why this was the entry, why this is stop loss, why were these targets? What's up, J Mike's man? Thanks for the 20. Don't get cocky, kid. That's right. Thanks, Mitch. That's a good point, and my question is somewhat proprietary. I will join the Patreon and go from there. So beat up. Thanks for the 420, man. Is that a joint? Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, you break this dude, whole crap, man. I mean, you break this 870 on Cosmos. It's already at all time highs. What's up, Thrall? Slash Elon at all time highs. What? Can you do a chart pattern canvas like the. Yes, that was the third one. Uh, um, this is like Wayne Batson. He can do that whenever he wants, if he ever wants to, but he's the, the man that does it, and yes. Yeah, that was the third one we were gonna do. Yep, chart patterns, Japanese candlesticks, and harmonics. Yep, might do a divergence cheat sheet after that, maybe. But uh, I don't know yet. Yeah. yeah, that was next. Thank you, Thrall, for purchasing the merchandise. Both nice, high-quality canvas art pieces that are also cheat sheets. Pretty cool, right? Invest in yourself while looking good. For your office, anyway. You might still not look good, but... At least your office would look great. All right, um, so next target's the 12725 extension at 1027. The next target after that is right around the gold mean ratio at 12 bucks. Okay. Adam. That's it, dude. So, okay. We good, Tugafu? All right. Uh, also, Great Fox, thanks for two super chat. Oh boy. Kind of interesting chart, kind of. Kind of in the next request. K 
Give me a sec. Yeah, pretty interesting chart on waves, man. Oh my god, that that worked out really well. Look at this on waves, dude. Are you kidding me? All right. So TA ended up being respected like the Jesus in the end. Wow. A rising wedge pattern. Nice. Oh, well, it's not on the daily too. With the classic bearish divergence. Beautiful, dude. This is this is what your TA is respected, man. TA respected the upside. Look at that. A high, the higher high. Lower levels, almost inexistent levels of positive memo, lower levels of strength. Impending price action versus the downside, you certainly got it. Now, 6.05. Um, I guess that was local. Yeah, that local low right there from November 26th. You're back above it, man. Very good. Now, it could always dump again and we get to some sort of inverse head and shoulders. But above 6.05, it's kind of like the bottom of the range. I don't know, maybe we could plot right here, too, where the wick was. So, it's like a range. Yeah, a range of support at the bottom. And a lot of upside, 813 to 873 would be your target eventually if it stayed above 550 to 605 long enough, right? Pause in Momo's building, you're not overbought. Uh, room for upside. Now, not a very deep retrace. It's about a 50% retrace. Oh, so close to testing that little wick high. It was like pretty much did, you know, January 4th. So, um, not sure I really see anything right now. No, no edge currently. Size of facts above 605. But yeah, eventually if it held 813, 873 would be the target. Oh man, hold on. Let me, uh, I gotta fix my one up coin. It's busting it. It's just, it breaks every time. I've got to talk to Jakku, the developer here. It's just getting bad. Hold on. A lot of great coins to look at today. Uh, at least ones we've been monitoring that are playing out like the Jesus. Goodness. What are you talking about? Oh, that's why. Okay, one up coin should be good right about now. Yeah, one up coin should work flawlessly. Whoever just tipped me in uh, Ethereum, thank you for the $4. Worth of Ethereum, but it um, should be good now. Should work perfectly. All right. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to shift this memo and run back up to the next major peaks, right at the top of the range. Greetings, Mitch. Does your Patreon membership include one-on-one -on -one tier coaching? No. If not, can this be set up for costs? No, I used to do one-on-ones a lot way back, but um, what happened was there was far too much demand for it, and I was like scheduling too many, and I, was, I had no free time. I had no time to myself. I was spending, it was just so much, you know, doing it that it was just like, all right, I'm just gonna stop doing it. So, like, I know that would happen. Like, think about it. You know, if I started doing one-on-one, -on -one, it, it, people would be scheduling it and I'd never be able to stop. So, no one-on-ones. But, Patreon, you learn immense amounts and you get contact with me, not one-on-one, -on -one, but one-on everyone. But you ask the question and everyone gets the answer at the same time type stuff. So, you know, believe me, ask the 913 patrons now if it's worth it. Okay, 9.13. Uh, we had a new patron join. For a friend, can you show how to slot bullish divergence and bearish divergence on MACD? What's up, Blue Glue? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in a sec. Thank you, man. What's up, JMO, man? Bruh. <laughs> Dude, you got called out. That's crazy, man. I don't know what you did. JMO tip $25.41. Thought I'd give a troll a look at real assets. Take notes, kid. I'll send you a color by number if you need it. 
0.00000 BTC. Jim, up thanks for the twenty-five dollars forty-one cents worth of Bitcoin. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't get it. I don't. You know, people like literally tip money to troll or whatever, and it's like you got me, man. But you didn't. I don't even know what you're doing. It's just futility, man. The practice of futility. It's like uh, masochist behavior. When people like realize they're getting nowhere with something, they keep doing it. That's masochism, man. That's weird. It's like definitely stems back to childhood issues. So you see someone trolling like that guy. Weird upbringing. Something weird went wrong in his uh, schemata. Schemata is like a set of events that you go through in your life to make you who you are right now. So weird schematas can make people weird, right? Okay. Uh, B Dubs, what's up, dude? Thanks so much for joining the Patreon right now. I have in the freaking chat. We were Jenkins, man. Is that a joint? Wow. B Dubs, thanks for uh, joining. Uh, please be sure to sing with the Patreon, the Discord. You have to be in the Discord if you're a patron. You you might be wasting your money if you're you're literally joining Patreon and you're not being in the Discord because it's, it's pretty much Discord. Yeah, hey, I'm joining the premium discord uh, they don't have that yet i wish they would i wish discord would start competing against patreon like i need to reach to reach out to them but uh, that's the way it is it's the premium discord but you're joining patreon because it's the we're kind of just like in that this is all kind of new this whole online crowdsourcing of content creators thing so eventually they'll they'll it'll make sense to them and they'll do it and then we won't have to worry about patreon anymore they're just a glorified payment processor right now What's up, Wood Division? Yes, that's pretty neat. Because it's the way it is, right? We got less than 20 minutes now until your daily close. What a recovery, right? What a recovery from 35,370. I mean, you're up $1,000 from the lowest point on this four hour candle. Man. All right. I don't know why I'm stuck on this. Let's see. I was. Uh... Well, you're Ren. Ren. Yes, here's Ren. Guess what? about to achieve it's uh pretty much the first target uh, 58 cents this has been a long time coming the major resistance is 42 we knew if you broke 42 you were going to 58 very high probability all right so uh, thanks for the 501 super chat and uh thanks for the consideration looking forward to seeing you but then man china to me china china first and foremost jay mobile the chat So, uh, 58 cents was the target, right? 59 cents the top. If you ever broke that 100% measurement, I would think of the structure of consolidation you were in for so long would be 70 cents, which is right at like the 1272 Fib extension of 71.6 cents. And man, I'll tell you, if it does a crypto thing, if it does what crypto do, you think gold mean ratio is 86 cents, 86.7 cents. That's it, man. All right. So, uh, that was the request. Someone requested Ren. Great, man. We knew what would happen if it broke 42 cents, most likely. <clears throat> oh my god, it's Benjamin! Well, let's go, Benji. Thank you so much, dude. Wow. Enjoying listening to you. Can you check out Orion Protocol? Super Orion. 0.35000000 LTC. Benji, sure, dude. Thank you for the uh, $50.80 worth of a Litecoin. Wow, diversification of cryptos today. Thank y'all. What's up, Great Fox? Thanks for the two, dude. Cheers. All right. Um, is there another one before that or I mean after that? Okay, the thing was... Uh, uh, how do you spot bullish divergence and bearish divergence on the MACD histogram? Because I don't use the MACD, which are li signal lines of uh, exponential moving averages. I take those off. I don't use them. Is there a John I don't know, Meryl. We'll look at it. Okay, I'll, we'll find out. Okay, uh, so do it on this one. 
there, there are different forms of divergence, but if you're talking about the histogram, let's um, let's look for a real world example. It's pretty, you know what? Um, entry on XLM, rising three methods on four hours. Let's look for a divergent. Well, let's just go to the freaking daily on waves that we just had. Come on, man. Like, we just had it. It was perfect. How do you recognize divergence? Look, man, like the classic class A, which is the strongest form, easiest to for someone to learn. When your price makes a high, right, and, and you do not recognize the wicks here. Okay, listen to me. You don't look at the wicks. You look at where traders settle up, which is the candle closes. All right, so that date of November 23rd, traders settled up at 791 right here you sold off then you attempted a rally like bitcoin is attempting its rally right now it hasn't really gotten higher but this is what you would think would happen if bitcoin saw 45k and that's what i've been talking about that theory so when you make a higher high than your previous high look traders settling up uh december 7th at 893 yes obviously higher look at the histogram and the separation of the histogram with uh, negative momentum and on in the rally and so look at this Right, this was all identified live on stream when we looked at it whenever I did and it played out like the Jesus. So that is it, right? And then look, your RSI also showed it. So you had a lot of strength there. You had like uh, your argument backed up by another oscillator. Always good one. That's the best, man, ideal. So impending price action, reversal to the downside is implied when you have bearish divergence. What happened, dude? You reversed to the downside but only to make a much higher low than the previous low than the previous low before because you are in fact in a bull trend right now. You're in a bull trend. You're just creating a new low that's higher than the previous one. And then again, if it catches bids, you would think the next target would be up. Again, we already talked about it, like eight, $9, 873, look the four hour already did announce on this. So that's how, that's how you would identify divergence um, and it's always strongest on the slower time scales, right? The most, the more significant the time scale is on the, uh, I would think the stronger the divergence is and the higher the probability would be eventually the reversal would happen. So there you go. Um, that was for Boglu. Thanks, dude. All right, we good on divergence education? Gotta love it. Dude, are you sure this isn't too loud? Like, it's it's loud as F, man, for me. Turning it down either way. This is for that poor seller who used his last four dollars to tip about XRP. Here's the ten dollars minimum for major, super, extreme, and deading as coins. I think he wants to look at XRP, please. Did you hear that, Ursula? That's right, XRP. Hello, come in, Ursula. Astronaut. US outlying islands. Wow, it's like a food. Thanks for the 11. I appreciate it, man. Hot Carl, thank you, dudes. Oh, Shanghai uh, composite. Yeah, you good, but it, it it's like saying, hey, maybe there's variables. I don't know. I mean, it's government controlled and they're probably going to make it pump. That I means probably just think about it. anything Chinese is communist government controlled. So they don't have a free market, not even close. It's a joke. But you think about, hey, they might themselves print a bunch of money and then pr and pump it because they control the markets literally like there is no freedom on that market. So sure, maybe, but I'd rather make a bet on something else. But uh, sure, we talk about the scamp. Or whatever. Shanghai composite. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, so. No, no XRP today, for sure. But we can look at the uh, rich man's XRP right now, which was a request. And that would be XLM of 3%. Nice. This one's look, looked great. It looked okay. It looks great. And uh, still just waiting. Waiting is doing nothing, man. I mean, you just got, you eventually have to break 31.893 cents if you want to catch some real price action. Till then, uh, you're just holding on, man. I don't think you want to be going below 27.8 cents again on this asset, you know, at all. 
that's it. There's no change. This is the same analysis from yesterday, just a few more candles. Cool. I'm just drinking my own coffee, man. You know what I do, Alexa. Coffee. It's good, man. Okay, for coffee, here's a few recipes. Coffee, coffee cake. Whipped coffee. Amazing pecan coffee cake. Magical coffee. And lots more. Wow. Thank you for literally saying that. I don't know. So Mamba, uh, yeah, let me look at Link. We already looked at Link though today, which is kind of interesting that you're asking about it. Okay, let's we'll see. Orion Protocol Benji requested. This is still like bullish until it fails, right? It's not. It's not a confirmed pattern, I think, till it breaks thirty-one cents. That's just IMO. Oh yeah, Orion, dude. Yeah, Orion. I already had targets, man. Yeah, this was great. This was a good one. Um, we go on these string S coin runs. I love the shortening of the thrust here too. Shortening of the effing thrust. And on the daily, that shortening of the thrust gave us the freaking bullish divergence, man. Barely, but you got it. Hard to argue against that, man. That's that's real. Look, I can see a discernible peak here and a valley. All right, and on that second valley, which was about the exact same low as the previous one, the, the sellers were just exhausted. Uh, and you back tested and held was once resistance back in October as support, support, support. Okay, great news, everyone. Great news, everyone. Divergence on the daily on Orion. It's uh, rallied today, like many others, is up 7.55%. And could go higher. I would think the next target on this asset, it, once it breaks through this barely anything resistance, I would think you're going to 346. You break 346, you're talking about 392 to 420. Okay, that's that's. I would think with this going on on the daily, it's probably going to 420 eventually. All right, it's con look, man. You made a low, you had a big rally, then sold off, made a deep retrace from your low to high. You could even say this was a, a harmonic. My God, dude. Is this real? Cypher stuff might have been too deep on the top. It is, but the XABCD, look at that, dude. I mean, 78.6% retrace. 1618 Fib extension. Not once, but effing twice. It's like Rose. It's like a scuffed version of Rose coin, O R N. To where, dude, yeah, 420 would be 390 to 420 the targets. If you break that, forget about it. You're going like a. Five bucks almost, one, two, seven, two. Gold mean ratio is 5.77. So uh, there you go, dude. Combinations of greatness on ORN. Just add it to the list of S coins that are unreal looking, you know, on daily time scales, four hour time scales. So, wow, ORN, whatever. I'm just saying, don't be surprised if like what happens is like, hey man, dude, we're at 420 on ORN. Can you believe it? I, I can't believe it, dude. All right. Whatever. <sighs> okay. What is scuffed? It's scuffed because it's a 170% retrace, making it invalid as a harmonic. Cyphers can only go to the 1414, but that's where traders set it up, you know? Like you got the scam wick up there, but where traders actually set it up makes this a real pattern, makes it valid if you omit the crazy wick. That's what makes this pretty freaking good, man. All right, you understand what I'm talking about? This is perfect. All right, so instead of golden, yeah, you're in the golden zone, but man, the way things are set up right now, it's like this. It's like that's the target. And then your target after that is probably this. Probably that. And then if things were gonna go stupid, things were gonna get all stupid up in here, because it's crypto, then that'd be your third target. Unbelievable, right? Like crazy. See you, Orion. Nice.
pretty easy to know where you don't want anything to do with the assets below two dollars you don't want anything be below two dollars on an ORN okay just so we're clear I hate that I did all the work on that that works not gonna save Benjamin Brad. U.S. dollar coin. Wow. Thank you, tip twenty-five dollars. Thank you, my man. Twenty-five point zero. Oh man, zero, zero, could be in trouble. Well, it's, it's not tether, so it's a stable coin, though. Who knows? Thank you, Benji man, for the twenty-five. Kind of crypto contribution. Stable crypto contribution. Factoring in my other twenty dollars. Help with the target on PHA. Uh, sure, BK. We'll we'll look at it. All right, let me um, let me check my notes here. USDC is regulated. All right, safe. Thank you, Benji. We're safe, man. No problem. Might put it in uh, DAI for that 2% APY. Just kidding. I don't know. Okay. NMR. It's just another weird random S coin that probably looked good. Yep, looks great. Like, I thought we looked at this before, though, right? It was like double bottoming. On Coinbase, sweet. Oh yeah, yeah. It was the problem was it was in the middle of the range kind of though, and uh, it does look like like locally momentum's trying to shift here. Besides the crazy wick there, I mean you're just talking about maybe a neckline of thirty one fifty. It breaks thirty one fifty. You're going to thirty six dollars pretty much. This top here, you break that forty one dollars. So not much has changed on NMR. That already looked pretty good, right? Daily. Look at it, it's beautiful. I mean, it's extremely good. I think that's, you know, but look what it did since it hit the bottom. It actually went up to $38, $37.50, you know, from $22. So like traders took profit on this and now it's just consolidating after an impulse up. And what does that mean? The mar market participants who pushed this up still own it. Some of the traders got out, scalpers, whatever, you know, bots, but there are a lot of market participants who still who bought this asset at the bottom and are still holding it right now. I, I, I would believe it because wow, look at this crazy looking classic class B bullish divergence. A low than, than the same low with higher levels of relative strength. Promising. So upside potential is immense if it can stay. Like uh, if you stay above 2250 long enough, you'll eventually see $36 again, then 4178. If you ever broke 4178, you're probably going to $55. Yeah. That's NMR. Okay. So keep your eye on it. Just add it to the S coin list, newer S coin list. Hey, what's up, JMUB, dude? Suppose I'll fill it with the tears of trolls, he says. Thank you, dude, for purchasing the tear mug. Thanks, dude. Okay, next one would be... Oh, Jay Olden's asking about... We already looked at XLM, but um, he's like, three writhing methods on the floor. I don't know. I'd not really. I don't see that so much. I see kind of inverse head and shoulder stuff, but guess what? What your consolidation structure that you're witnessing with your eyeballs and mine, they're China both bullish China. narratives, China. right? China. Alexa, order big black dildo. 0 0.0032335 wow. ETH. It's Saturday, and he's doing this chat. You know, he's not making money. I don't know, dude. It's kind of weird, but uh, nice try. Okay, next one was GRT. We'll look at it. GRT is up 38.87% uh, right now. About to hit the first target of the trade setup posted yesterday evening. Two minutes until your daily close. Your local on the eights. Beautiful. What a pump. What strength. Did you, did you? 
Not sure what to tell you here. Uh, besides, you were warned live on stream for free yesterday. You're now overbought for the first time on the four hour since December 21st. So again, the next target, I don't know why it wouldn't get there, is 48.46 cents. We spent uh, the greater part of the day uh, consolidating after hitting a resistance where traders set it up at their highest point December 24th, Christmas Eve, and we've now broken it, right? All, all What was going on here? I discussed this in Patreon earlier. Uh, the market participants that are buyers were absorbing the remaining supply at this level, and now the supply has been broken, right? They just kept buying and buying and buying while the sell orders were there getting filled, and then all of a sudden, there were no more sell orders, so you popped like this to see the highest level you've seen on GRT since December 27th. Get what I'm saying? Understand? It was beautiful. 38.5%. I think it's up 33% uh, since the entry of the trade setup. Okay. All right, we got uh, 40 seconds till the daily close. Bitcoin, uh, very, very meh right now. All right, very meh. Sweet. Hmm. 10 seconds. All right, uh, I'm gonna add an alert on the trend line. So once the target gets hit, the first the first target of the trade setup gets hit, we'll hear the beep, celebratory beep. No idea when it'll be, could be soon, could be a little while. You could always now, since you've broken with confirmation, that old resistance, you could always back test it. So don't be scared if it goes to 43.2 cents to say hi. I'm. A I'm trying to see if uh, this is real or not. Is this a real support? Because it's always only been resistance. So market participants see the, that back test and say, yeah, it is support. There are enough buyers here. So it bounces and then you go to higher highs. So, um, you know, it's never good when Bitcoin sells off any, you know, for any of these altcoins, it's not good. Um, it only suppresses these assets that are right now outperforming Bitcoin, right? That's it, dude. Yeah, 8 a.m. in China. Yep, it is now officially Sunday, universal time. Okay, let's go back to Bitcoin so we can just look at it on the daily. How did that candle close? Not great. And immediate selling out the gate on the new day. Just a negative memo, no edge currently on Bitcoin. Yeah, just another red candle. Again, nothing going on. Uh, just looks like a lower high for now. Being painted, uh, the bearish engulfing candle has got a little bit of fall through. We'll see how much it gets though. But the crazy thing is, man, like as long as Bitcoin eventually closes above uh, $18,000, it's still a hidden bullish divergence argument again. All right, it's kind of crazy to believe. All right, kind of a nothing burger on the daily. And that's the candle that closed. Cool. All right, we checked it. All right, Ethereum real quick. Just go back because look on the eights or whatever. Selling off of Bitcoin, no surprise. All right. As long as it makes a higher low than a low of 1137, it's fine. Just gonna keep making higher lows. And yeah, that's it, man. Did you look at Zill? No, why would I look at Zill? Thanks for the 1420. So again, just pivot and it'll be fine, man. You know, Bitcoin's selling off, but it's like really not severe or major or crazy right now but only to FOMOers and people who are looking at very insignificant time skills. Those are the people that would be worrying and panicking, all right? Litecoin, 
making a lower high than the previous high. I mean, it's not a good looking, I mean, you gotta hate that. You gotta hate lower highs than the previous highs and previous highs before it. But at the same time, right, you're making higher low, higher, or a low, a higher low, and then the higher low after that. So um, really not, uh, so when you're making uh, lower highs and higher lows, it's just like neutral, neutral stuff. This is literally just doing what Bitcoin's doing. A big one just started shooting up, shooting to the upside. Litecoin would do the same thing. So not much really to take a look at here, okay? Shanghai Composite. Shanghai Composite respects the TA2, doesn't it? Look how it all began. An XABCD, a textbook one. It happened to be a perfect bullish cipher reversed literally the 1272786. Guess what that was? My God, look where it was. It was a low back from January, February 2016, right? Pattern completions up. Dude, this is my meme of the month, man. Meme of the month. Go, uh, go vote on it if you like it. But uh, I don't know how any meme of the month can be worthy against this one. My reaction when there's bullish divergence on multiple time scales at a critical ice line with a Bulkowski pattern at the PCZ of a harmonic pattern with a Japanese candlestick reversal. Right? Mm -mm. Here it is. Right, PCZ of all, with confluence. I should put confluence in there, but uh, add an ice line with bullish divergence. That's me right there on the Shanghai. That's what you should be. One an assets at these levels. Okay. Um, yeah, you break this little high right here from 35.83. You're going uh, just right up a little bit higher to the next major one at 36.76. And if you break that, my goodness, man. Yeah, it could be insane could be crazy i would think it's uh going up because biden is president why would it not moon like yep time to bet on china because china owns america now <sighs> there you go you break that yeah you're going to huge markups for 41 27 and after that uh, 45 27 and then after that all time highs. so you got uh res resistance points okay great hey how did it all start beautiful See, even communist Chinese respect the TA chat. Send it to Moon. Okay. Zilliqa. Thing had already taken off, right? It was already gone. Yeah, it's like, whatever. Still stupid amounts of hidden bullish divergence. Yesterday, you got a bullish engulfing candle confirmation moments ago. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, it's downsloping consolidation. Don't we downsloping consolidation? Maybe I have it already. Oh, I thought I had the uh, plotted. Hmm. Maybe I did, and it's just the work didn't save because I'm doing on the screen. I really like that, you know? Now, if you adjust, do it's not breaking out. If you adjust for that wit. Extend like that, then adjust. No breakout. But yeah, the, the daily, um, oh, I love the four hour 200 moving average that we're holding it one time, two, three times. Now you're just butting up the supply line. And if you uh, factor in that daily there, man, that daily is implying, yeah, continuation of the upside for the attempted rally soon that could take you all the way back up to 8.9 cents. But I don't know about higher than that, man. It's an attempted rally. So yeah, the four hour not really showing too much. Uh, if you break the supply line, I'm gonna hear a beep. 
We'll all hear beeps. Just have your beeps set up. Your alert. For a breakout on Zillica of just down some consolidation that's been going on since uh, late December. I love the 200 moving average. You're above it. But yeah, a little bit of bearish divergence locally. Like a, a high, then the slightly higher high, lower levels of positive memo. REIT. Okay, just for people that are donating to look at S-Coins, remember, you've, you're already, I don't know why you keep forgetting. Uh, you're just doing it to give me a hard time, I guess, at this point. Do you see, look at me, look at my face right now. Do you see my face? Yeah, look, look me in the eye right now. Oh man, Burchard, Burchard, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon. Please be sure to sync up the Patreon, the Discord, my man. You have to do that, sync it up, be in the Discord. If you don't have Discord, download the freaking app and be in it and let me be the only server you're in, that's fine. It's good enough. But uh, that currently puts us at uh, I believe 914 patrons now. 914. Unbelievable, dude. Crow. Yeah, it was looking good. Yep, it's fine. Yep, it, it showed bullish divergence in the daily. And it, it ran off that, and then it. Yep. Yep. Here's your crow. Is that plotted? I think that was in the four hour up. Maybe had that resistance plotted. Yeah, probably. Hmm. So uh, it's almost like you look, you got a resistance here and you got down sloping support, but then all of a sudden, look what happened a higher low. I think if you see 8.1 cents again, which you're very close to with a daily engulfing candle yesterday. If you were able to see that uh, 8.1 cents again, then you got a high probability of a breakout. Because that's like, look, man, that's like uh, potential partial decline stuff on Crow. Bitcoin 35, 680 right now and selling off near its lowest point of the new day. Uh, the real thing is like 8.1 cents. You break that. We got target targets up here. 10.4 cents to 13.46 cents for just a common everyday retrace from the big dump. All right. But yeah, you got to break this little zone of resistance here if you want to see prosperity, higher prices. Hasn't happened yet. Well, a high, the lower high, and now somewhat another lower high. So consecutive lower highs now, it seems visible on the four hour. And it does seem like where we are, I mean, why are we not going to go test 34.5 to 35K again? If we're almost there, it kind of seems like, yeah, yeah that would, definitely seems very possible. Old support resistance, psychological and very real from the high of January 3rd this year. All right, we got through the uh, requests. Nice. Wait, no. PHA, I don't know what that is. That's not a crypto. Oh, yes, it is, I guess. Wow. It is a crypto. Fall off. Well, it's, it's over now. Right? I mean, you should ask, though. I don't know why you're asking now. You could have asked so many different times. But you're only asking because it's uh, up on the new day 26%. And yesterday it was up another 30%. Unreal. Wow. Uh, that's that's crazy, dude. I'm talking today. We're talking like 12 minutes ago. Since 12 minutes ago, this asset shot up another 26%. It was up like 40%. What's up, Chair Biggin? Thanks for the stream as always. Can you please review the team? Yeah, Funk, sure. Sure.
Can we look at chain link again? I missed it. Uh, sure. Here's your uh, falla to the USOI tether. Okay, wow. Opportunities were very real. You should have asked me. My God. Be like, hey, man, could could we look at uh, falla in around the 12th? I mean, we're talking like three, four days ago. Or even down here, man, like December 24th. Dude, that's like low risk areas. Oh, it could be insane. You just gotta love and admire how we we jumped or we uh, broke the, we sprung, right? Then we back tested the spring from September 23rd as support before going to moon. What a courtesy, what a courtesy. So it's all time highs right now. It's gone insane. It's up uh, like 100% or maybe it's up like 50, 60% um, in like less than two days. Crazy stuff, man. So if it was, was to keep going, which I have no idea, dude, what this S coin's doing, it's crazy. Uh, but if it, you know, oh look at that! It hit the one two seven two pretty much twenty eight cents, twenty eight point six cents, perfectly, and that's where it pulled back. So those bots had sell orders, I guess. And if you ever broke that, thirty point nine cents. You ever broke that, thirty four point three cents. But uh, a little late, dude. A little freaking late to be requesting this asset that's gone. Dude. Dude. Come in the chat. Let's go, Martin, man. I'm applying your TA to my trading and I'm winning. Not rolling the dice anymore. I'm grateful for finding you, Mitch. Thank you. Martin, thanks for the hundred. I mean, you're always rolling dice if you enter a trade. But you want to enter the trade with a strategy, right? And a plan. And, um, yeah. And proper position sizing, managing your risk, all that. So thank you, dude, for the $100 super chat. Much love, dude. That's what it's about, dude. Open others. Okay. Um, Just for a joke, he requested uh, USDT to USD. Nothing's happened yet. Nothing yet. Stable coin, still stable. One dollar on the dot. So depreciating at the same rate as the US dollar is, I guess. One chan, man. Been a long time. Bitcoin's near session lows again. Not catching any bids yet. Yeah, and a bull trend. Wan Shan's in a bull trend. Well, it's in an uptrend. It's been in an uptrend, right? Here we go, chat. 35,550 in selling. Go the daily. So you did, why would you not test 35k, 34.5 to 35k? While you're breaking, we're traders set it up. Nice. Back from uh, February of last year, so it's been almost a year since you've seen these. Well, I'm sorry, take that back. That's that's what it's trying to get above right now. So it had a crazy run this summer, like many other altcoins, S coins. Go with those two. So uh, yeah, man. I mean, low, higher low, higher lows, higher lows again. So everything's holding in there for now. I don't know. You try to adjust, or you try to 
you do it like that, ugh, I think you'd have to make the adjustment, maybe like that, demand line now. Holding, and uh, yeah, you, just, you break 36.58 cents, you gotta break 41.75 cents, and then after that you gotta break 44.93 cents. It's just been very tough for this asset to do that ever. It's never been able to, it's failed. You know, it's up thrusted tremendously uh, in August, September, but again, you could never sustain prices above it. If you ever sustain prices, one chain, ever sustain prices above 45 cents, it could go to very high prices, at least to go test, you know, the, its highest point ever, at least on this chart, which is up here at like 58.86 cents. So um, that's definitely like bearish convergence. You're not making higher highs right now. But if you break 36.58 cents, I think you're safe. You're staying below the 200 day moving average. Mon man, oh my god! Cheers, dude. Token of my appreciation for last night's Patreon trade setup. Uh, yeah, well, we're not out of the woods yet. We're close, right, to at least one target, but um, Bitcoin keeps doing this. Kind of tough for those alts to, they're just being suppressed when Bitcoin sells off. I mean, and when Bitcoin does nothing, they're able to do stuff, right? So. Just open for Bitcoin to remain chilled out this weekend so those can continue. Um, and we can make the attendees, right? Applying traditional technical analysis to a very untraditional market and very new assets, a lot of them, right? So again, you're just like at this resistance and you know the resistance is about, look, I mean, just how many times we tested it and never broken it. So it's just, will it break this time? I don't know, it could. So it's not the cleanest one, but we know it's uptrending. It's been uptrending, all right? Thanks, dude. Like, Martin, man. That's two C notes. I wish it would add up. It's not adding. It's like, it says 99.99. It should be 200 bucks, man, on the session top SC. What's the point of even having it if it doesn't do that? What a joke. You want to look at link again. Okay, here's your link. You hit all time highs yesterday of 23.58. Almost hit that 1272, which was the targets we were talking about, right? 24 to $28. Could still be on the way. You, uh, you had your highest candle close ever pretty much uh, yesterday, two days ago. And, uh, you know, just you have never, traders have never settled up higher than the highest level ever intraday from a. August 17th, right? You've never closed above that. So that's a milestone that has yet to occur and it could happen in time. You just, there might be a little bearish divergence going on, but if Bitcoin chills out, settles, you know, and it doesn't keep dumping and stuff, just goes sideways and Link, Link has the opportunity to break that and then go to those targets and to invalidate any kind of bearish divergence argument going on on the oscillators on the, on the daily, all right? But it's up now. I don't know what you were asking. It was like classic bullish divergence ushered all this in. Hello, technical analysis here for free live talking about it. That ushered in all time highs. So imagine thinking TA is bull crap. I mean, like how many times does it have to play out for someone to become a believer of this stuff? It's it just plays out too much all the time. Why do you think I have 900 plus patrons? Like, it's not because of, like, whoa. No, it's because this stuff is real. And people see it, and they're making money on it. Their lives are changing for it, for the better, because of this stuff. In a really screwed up dystopian world we live in now, where people, just like, everything's changed. Can you look at API 3 as in winning? Do you see any profit taking What's up, Margaret? Look me in the eye right now. Look at me. Look at my face. You see me, dude? Thank you for the five. Seriously, look me in the face right now. Okay, thanks, dude. Yeah, dude, uh, Wan Chan looks okay. Uh, Link is obviously, it's been looking good. Traders never set it up lower than the 200 day moving average. Incredible. Okay, T respected. Or let me let me just do it real quick, right? T respected. There it is. There it is. You hear it? I can't hear it, but you can. That's it. 
mic's loud, that's where you would turn down your audio levels, right? You would be like, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit, right? Okay, so um, let's let's go to where were we yesterday. Let's go back to GRT. It's down about two percent today. Look at that green candle today. It's fine, man. It's just the beginning, probably. Could be. For the common retrace. It just doesn't get much more perfect than this. I mean, it really doesn't. I mean, the fact that the right shoulder, not only did it line up perfectly with the left shoulder, the symmetry of it was so perfect, right? The time between the left shoulder developing and the head, right? The head and the right shoulder. But look, the, the back test of the spring, it was so convenient, so perfect. And then guess what kind of even happened in the end on the four hour? What is that? That's a somewhat of a bullish pin bar, a bullish pin bar. So again, just cents, just pennies away from that first target. So Jamie did, thanks. I guess so. Yes, of course, uh, they're not trading signals. They're just trade setups that I would do if if I was someone else, right? That's that's all the tra those trade setups. Are. They're not signals, okay? The markets give us, they provide signals, buying signals, selling signals. I identify those and talk about them. But, uh, you know, I'm not providing financial advice. I'm just doing what I love. That's all I'm doing. That's what it's always been about. This is just me going live looking at charts, applying technical and traditional technical analysis. And then yeah, in the, in the Patreon, there are trade setups, but I don't want you to join the Patreon if you're just wanting to be spoon fed trade setups. I want you to go there to invest in yourself, to learn how to swing trade yourself, applying my teachings yourself to charts. Would you take a look at ESD? Don't join if you're just asking for, if you just want trading signals, don't join, don't, don't join. Unless you just really want to support the community and the stream and that's fine too. That's, so it's like, there's two things. It's like either joining to invest in yourself or you're just like, you know what, screw it. I'm not participating in anything. I don't expect anything. I don't want anything. Here's just, here's a contribution um, for what you're doing. Those are the two reasons why someone would join, okay? What's up, Todd, dude? Thanks, man. <clears throat> what was this? Even know it's kind of illiquid on that one. Which is it cracking at most the liquidity or something? Yeah, that one looks a little better. All right, we'll do that one. MLN on cracking because it's not on Binance. Yeah, just cracking's best, I guess. It's still kind of weird. Um, go to daily. Hey, Jeffrey V, Jeffrey V, hype in the freaking chat. Thanks so much for joining Patreon. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Thank you, dude. Is that a joint? Bruh. Please be sure to sing the Patreon on the Discord, okay? You're screwing yourself if you don't join the Discord. If you're a patron and you're listening and you're like, hey, I don't have Discord, you're doing it completely wrong. Because like every time someone joins, I'm like, you, you join the Patreon, but you have to download the Discord app and be in the Discord because that's where all the value is, okay? Patreon is a glorified payment processor, so I don't have to worry about your sensitive information being stolen or hacked, okay? And I think you would appreciate that, and I pay extreme premium for that service, okay? Just so your data and info is safe, okay? So this asset... Uh, Deep retrace, I like where it pivoted. Oh man, see, it's a little late on this one, you know, a little late. Definitely XR, uh, I'm about to say XRP, XABCD, uh, XABCD. 
Okay, I bet you that was a 786 or something from that low right there. Yeah, and then the divergence at that and the 200 day moving average, pretty nice. So uh, anyway, just uh, <clears throat> meandering on up, probably working on a uh, common retrace. You could probably plot a channel here. Some sort like that, you know. High to low. So you've already hit the 3.8, so you've already, you're already beginning to hit the golden zone. So, you know, it's still a lot more upside, especially the fact that you have no historical context of any support resistance. All right, the only ones you can see, it's a pretty decent one right there at 55.88. There's definitely gonna kind of be one maybe right there at 45.98. So I think you would probably in time test that. But people say, it's a bear flag, but dude, bear flag's like coming after like, I know a huge markdown, but um, such a much higher low than the previous low value area. Our participants bought back in on it. So, um, yeah, I don't really see much of an edge right now for a perfect trade. You know, it wasn't like Rose, it wasn't like GRT. It's okay though, and it could very well keep going. I just, it, right now for a, an area, for a way to manage risk in this situation, and eh, it's not that great. It's It's okay though. So you could even talk about this little high right here from September 20, 25th. You're above it now. You engulfed on the daily yesterday, bullish engulfing. So sure, yeah, definitely could keep going. $50 is the 50% retrace and 58.97 is the golden retrace. Those are definite targets that it could keep going to. I don't know, sure. ESD. Empty set dollar. What is this, man? Mm, I don't know about this one, man. I mean, I, it's not showing an edge on the daily at all. It's maybe nearing, I mean, it's falling below an ice line from October 1st and could be headed towards 42.6 cents. Again, I don't know what this is. Never heard of it in my life. And just not been having a good time. Not been having a good time since it uh, had a really nice pump in mid-December. It's been selling off ever since, no bids. But yeah, about to go positive again on momentum. You get back above 58.4 cents, we could be speaking differently. Yeah, hold on. see anything else on the RSI either, huh? Not really. I mean, maybe the RSI is diverging, continuously diverging as you keep making lower lows. You know, ever since the third, you've just been making higher levels of relative strength. Okay, it's there. But that's like one loan variable, you know, that could get you a pop. So just like monitor this asset above 58.4 cents. You're below it. If you break back above it, that's when you just keep your eye on it and, and see if we get a rally and then we sell off and we back test this. So we spring, we back test the spring. Um, but uh, it's, it's okay. Definitely could go lower, right? 42.6 cents or so. But yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's real. Yeah, it's okay. Not a rose, not a GRT, not an ADA, not an XLM right now it's okay though and i'm telling you like there are things to look for um that could make it way more interesting only one spin request today dang man tuckafoo at the beginning dude it's saturday and bitcoin's at thirty six thousand one hundred dollars do you know where your cryptos are Total market cap is just uh, a hair below one trillion dollars, sitting currently at nine ninety eight point nine ninety nine billion. 
GR Geo. Um, you're lucky that it's on the watch list. That thing is about to get taken off my watch list. For real. So that's a $10 minimum for sure on engine. That thing is trash, man. Super trash. But it's up 43% today. And then, look, dude, it's seriously this. And then, just like that. Engine was up 43%, like now, you know, in the past 30 minutes. What the happened? Now, okay, I guess it gets to stay on the watch list. It was about to get audited, okay? Hey, measure move. Measure move, 24.8 cents. You already hit that before selling off, and now look at it. I don't, I don't know, man. It's very weird market, man. Let's see, there's that high from that old harmonic. It did play out. That was a trade setup, man. A trade setup back from November of 2019 that hit targets before the COVID crash. So it's above that whole harmonic and just sitting at this one high from February 19, 2018. Yes, I know where my cryptos are. Not an XRP ring. Yeah, it's uh, that's probably good, man. Spin up, man, and PLS, give me one, bro. Remember, it's like if you want to take an attempt on my liver, it's ten dollar minimum, just like it is for major S coins, right? Get wrecked, JMO. Never gonna happen. Never chugging. I'm not chugging on January sixteenth, twenty twenty one. My time. Never. Okay. So that's where you are. Uh, guess what? I mean, above these areas, there's not much. You go up to like 40 something cents. Wow. What happened? Oh, nothing happened. You think this is a news driven catalyst? It wasn't. It was nothing. It was just technical stuff happening. Just buyers coming in after the higher low. I mean, this was real. It was like Tesla's and it was like Bitcoin's. I mean, it had a right angle descending brightening formation, a, a, a bullish reversal pattern. And it's it played out, but then dumped. Then it's like, is it over? Made the higher low, and I, it just is gone again. Sweet mother of God. Y'all broke the jar. What are your thoughts on Eagle? Look at that douche emoji ball up there. Just hanging out, being mischievous. Oh, I don't know my thoughts on it. I'll have to look at it to tell you my thoughts, dude. There you go. education today there is so much there thank you thank Spend. you to all for the 10 but much love and uh, thank you for investing in yourself oh my god dude what's happening oh wait hold on we got celebration we got d let's call him dv thank you so much for joining the patreon having the freaking chat let's go dude what's up tech foo would you say If you don't want to look at the S Coin XRP, you'll expect a spin in exchange. Well, I thought it was ten dollars minimums for S Coin major S Coins like XRP, right? Re can't believe this. I mean, at this point, like, how could you be a Kool Aid drinker of XRP and watch this stream? Like, we're just trying to get rid of it. Like, you either change the way you think about things, or you just leave and never come back. Like, I don't really want those people that are just. They still won't listen to reason. They're like completely demoralized, right? Indoctrinated by the cult. I don't know. It's weird. Good God. I, I'm going to have to reset the catch here. The cash. Look at these emoji balls just frozen in time, man. Hold on. I'm just going to do it. Clear in the jar. It's been a fun one. A fun jar, but it's got to go. Too much hype. Suddenly. It was like gorilla hype. Gorilla warfare hype. Sorry. Has to be done. So congratulations on Engine for pumping like crazy. Even though like if someone was trading it, like it played out. Oh my god, GRT chat, we've hit. Yes, we've hit the first target of the trade setup less than 24 hours of the publication of the trade setup post. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Let me still connect. Maybe, huh? Let's go. Bruh. Like literally, let's go look at it. It's 
because I'm talking about Bitcoin doesn't dump and it just kind of performs and hangs in there. Great for these altcoins, these S coins. There it is. It's done. It's It's been achieved. Okay. That's a resistance point. Traders set it up their highest level December 26th. Okay. So that yeah, people pay profit there. But in the end, man, if it's going to do what crypto does, we got no targets up there. Okay. First target down. We did it, Leon, man. We did it. Fantastic. Very, very good. So thank you, man, and congratulations on the attendees. I think, I, how many spins do I owe? Can someone, Julie out there, Brad? I'll trust y'all. On how many? Hold on, let me see. I might just count. It's starting to get weird. It's starting to be like a lot, like one. Can you check out E? So Sean, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna look at it. Thank you for the 30 though, for the EGLD. We're just, I mean, like I'm, things are happening, right? Things are happening. And uh, I'm gonna have to add this one to the list. Yep, this one looked, uh, this was great. Not so great now, but it was real nice. Yeah, making a lower high. It looks very similar to Bitcoin. I'm, I'm not digging the lower high, man. I don't like that. So uh, this had a great party, a great run, lost opportunity. But now this lower high makes me a little bit Can more cautious on it. Okay, lower highs are distribution, right? Redistributed to holders. Compound interest direct in your wallet. RFCTR. All right, Rob G. If it's on trading view, we can look at it because of the contribution. Thank you, dude. Um, hey. Hey, Kristen L. Thanks so much for joining the effing Patreon. Let's freaking go. Ladies in the chat. Ladies in the Patreon. Is that a joint? Thank you, Kristen. Bruh. Please be sure to sing with the Patreon on the Discord. You have to do that. It's like, please. If you like me, do that, okay? Download Discord if you don't have it. Create an account and then join the Patreon and get synced up to the exclusive Discord premium or whatever. Thank you. It's not called Discord Premium. It's like Patreon. It's just, please, thank you. How many spins is that? I only owe one. I owe you one, but I don't know what I owe collectively. But uh, Sean, we're gonna look at it. I mean, again, I, I, I don't really know. Like it's right at this current time, I don't really see much. Right, this is not like a strategic entry area on an asset. I mean, yeah, you did break that little wick all-time high, sure, and you're above it. But again. If you break that, you're in a lot of trouble. You bounce off of it, uh, and hey, could keep going. Remember, like when you don't have an edge, right? That gives you a, like that weighted coin. It's still 50/50, so like it could go up, right? It could go up, and um, you can't be like you were wrong, man. It's just like no, it's just not a good level to manage risk really for a long because nothing's implying that it's going up next, right? But you flip the coin, anytime there's not an edge on the market, it's always a 50-50 chance. It's always like flip the coin, it could go down or it could go up. So you can't be like, TA's fake because I didn't see, there's not much of an edge that I see that I look for all the time on assets, right? It's just not here right now. And it goes up, TA's fake, nope, that's not how it works. It's just it landed on one side of the coin, right? Instead of going down. Which is 50% chance of going down too, really, right? Okay, that's EGLD. Thank you, Sean, man. <sighs> 10 spins, fake news. Of course, it's uh, really a $10 minimum for a spin. You're talking about literally doing bodily damage to my liver and my, you know, so yeah, it's gonna cost you $10 to gamble on that. Sure, yes. I don't know how that's unreasonable or weird. Spinach boo boo, 39.89. Bat, wow. You're making me buy bat high. Jacob, thanks dude. I haven't spun enough yet. I don't even know how many I owe. All right, I'm at an alert, maybe right above the wick high. So we really, if it's crazy about to go to 55 cents, we're gonna hear beep. Great setup on GRT. Can we look at looping LRC? Yeah, we'll get to it. Uh, Brandon, thank you for the $10 super chat. Um, hang tight, hang tight. Someone said add, add loopering to the newer S coin watch list, but that thing's been around forever. I remember looking at that uh, way back in the ICO bubble. We'll see. Um, 
but no higher, right? Like it has not broken the first target yet. The chug guh is pumping crypto artist. Yeah, dude, I think we're bullish divergence on the guhs for me, but I don't know, man. One, I don't know, maybe like three, since I don't really know. Maybe we'll say three for now. Get right. Nope. Nope. Logan wrecked, dude. He's lucky he's not here right now. Nope, get wrecked. That was almost three Logan wrecks in a row. Get destroyed. Sorry, spinners. Okay, let's go to uh, Cardano real quick because it's uh, up 3.5%. It is uh, pretty much right now, it's it's recently just made multi-year highs just moments ago. Multi-year highs on Cardano. Hi, Mitch. Rising three methods forming an XLM four hour. Alexa, say hi to smiley face. Say hi to Smiley Face. Didn't work, dude. Sorry, she doesn't like you. All right. It's okay. There are plenty of robots in the sea. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying. Thank you, dude. Uh, yeah, Cardano target is 38 point... 973 cents. The gold... Or the... Um, the target though, right? One of the targets the trade setup is 41.9 cents. The 100% measured move of the descending broadening wedge. Um, gold mean ratio, 43 cents of a man. If you're talking about crypto insanity, yes, crypto insanity on Cardano, your wildest imagination, your wildest dreams, with technical stuff, Fibonacci, ex outer Fib extension, 55.9 cents. You hear me? 55.9 cents on Cardano if things get really wild and 2020 2021 continues on its insane insane unprecedented historical journey all right that's it but it's just begun right multi-year highs right now all right i had a beep if we hear it my god I mean, come on, dude. like yeah though like maybe the trade setup was still real like the like okay you, tr you post it, Bitcoin gets nuts, it, it, it like scams out and comes right back. That doesn't mean the trade setup's over. Doesn't mean it's dead. Those targets, everything's still valid. The idea all made sense. It was all real and it's all still fine. Like the targets for the trade setup are still active on Cardano. You're crazy, man. Like, oh, it's all over now because of one little scam wick, right? Okay. See what higher levels got an alert set up on that. Got to go to the bathroom real quick. What's up, Sean? I'll just spin for anything 10 now, I guess. Maybe a good excuse to take a sip. Think you can master exceed Binance coin. I have no idea, Sean, about that. That's a not really sure i don't i don't know uni like that that's a kind of more fundamental question i don't really do so much research on the fundamentals it's pure technicals here right i'm simple ta man ta man okay i'm going to the uh bathroom real quick coffee ran through me sit back relax enjoy the sights and the sounds of the cardano pump maybe a few more altcoins pump while bitcoin just chills that's what we want right now Bitcoin dominance getting wrecked. Rightly so. Uh, hit that like button, that bell lets up. I'll be right back. We'll keep this going. Maybe a Saturday night pump. Maybe not.
wow thanks for like the um legit like uh 100 new youtube subs today really appreciate that that growth has been going nuts if you've not noticed like almost about like two subs away or something 43,700 patrons it took a boom on ursula i don't think ursula's around just trying to bait ursula out of the shadows for its hip war winking face this has been brought to you by grt kings U.S. outlying islands. I can text him and let him know he's being called out. All right, I said Tugafu was calling you out on TTS. That's all I posted. All right, so look at Cardano, man. Up 7% on the new day. It's only been around for... 51 minutes now chat incredible as it rises it's currently at multi-year highs beautiful man and it was like inverse head and shoulder stuff this is very similar to xlm probably the same market maker same market participants that control this own xlm but this one's catching the bids and we're about to hear the beep gorgeous man i don't know what you can ask for you know i mean it's like whatever uh, anything about 30 cents is safe and here we are it's okay, Gaji man. Did I miss anything? I think I did. I heard the TTS. Thanks again, Tuckafu. You. Those roses smell I uh, summoned. Well, I, I, mean, I haven't summoned him. I've just let him know you called him out. Cake, roses, and cake and steaks. Bitcoin thir thirty six thousand two ninety near its highest level of the new day. Cardano continues to climb. All this, I mean, we're watching an S coin pump live right now, dude. So, and I'm out of coffee. This. That was it, dude. Wow, look at this, dude. Cardano's up 8.3 percent. I mean, highest level since 2018, man. Beautiful. So, I, I mean, it does seem very possible that Cardano's going to be seeing 41.9 cents Not at some point. Coin selection. Can you check that, please? Oh yeah, spin. I am going to tweet that to Jakku right now. I just screenshotted that. Because we're just having issues, man. Issues on 1UP coin constantly. Alright, I just uh, alerted Jakku to the issues. Okay. Let's see what happens. Larry. Thanks for the followers on Twitter and Instagram. Appreciate that, man. I hit over 3,000 followers on Instagram, which is terrible, but, you know, I just, I'm not active on it. I will be soon, though, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Yo, slacking on the likes, is that real? Yeah, only 700 likes, really, dude? We could have a thousand in seconds if y'all wanted. Don't do it for me, do it for Cardano and GRT and Rose, dude. An engine, I guess, God. I mean. So was it RFCTR was requested? It's on, it's actually on TradingView. Super illiquid. Oh man, mess with this stuff. Leonardo Bonacci. He is the son of Bonacci. Fibonacci. Thank you, Sam. There you go, dude. Get wrecked. Here is your whatever this is. R. F. C. T. R. To 
W E T H. Hey, it's above that ice line. That's good. Never back tested it though. I never got a back test. So um, that could always, you could always back test before going higher. But uh, again, I'm not saying anything about trading this. I think like the next level would be pretty much right here from December 29th and a high from uh, December 16th of whatever that is. No idea. Just numbers, man. Okay, look at them. Sorry, it's, right. it's really. What do you want from me with assets like this? I mean, you think spring and then back test. You know, back test. This is the spring. You want to back test the spring and then you go to whatever that number is and then you break that. Uh, BTC Could eventually see whatever that number is. 1.9 million whatevers. Okay, cool. Basically a Ponzi. Well, here you go. Hex was a scam too, and it respected the TA really well. Alright, loop ring. Just gonna look at the Coinbase chart. Yeah, looking good, man. Looking set up. It's looking like it's same thing, man. Same stuff here. Where it's uh I think that's kinda like the neckline area, like this little high from January seventh. We're trying to set it up fourteenth. Right? It's very, very similar to um, others. Right? One shoulder ahead. And then a right shoulder, okay, momentum shifting bullishly, and it's after an impulse. So this is the, what just happened? Huh, oops, am I crazy? Sorry. Okay, so uh, you break 43.6 cents, man, you're going straight up to 56 cents. Okay, very good looking chart on loop ring, if you can even believe it, man. I know there's more data on other charts. Just look at this right here, this little wick high all the way back from September. I guess you're technically above that. So um, are you back testing a spring on the right shoulder like GRT kind of was? <laughs> what? Could you check out GRT? What's up, Sean? Uh, sure, yeah, we looked at it like a couple times today. Trade set of hit targets just a few moments ago. Here's your 100% uh, measure move of loop ring. Just happens to line up perfectly with uh, the highest level ever on this chart. Just a little bit lower, right? So that's it, 61.1 cents. My goodness, dude. Pretty easy way to manage risk at this area too. This is gorgeous, all right? This is pretty freaking sexy looking, all right? Okay. Boom. It's very simple to risk reward here, right? Like, come on. Like, nothing below the previous nice shoulder or whatever. And then, obviously, the target. And you could go looser on the stop, too, if you wanted. Take you down there. Look, 4.11 to 1 reward to risk. That's, that's how we'll play that, I think. All right, something along those lines. And then, if you wanted multiple targets, so. What if loop ring went bonkers, you know, and pulled a crypto? Okay. Second target after the measure move, one, two, seven, two. And then third target, gold knee ratio, dude. KPTI shows a beauty of a chart on the one year. Thoughts, Mitch? I'm going to look at one year charts. Do for the community. Also, Something like that. All right. Something along those lines. I said, dude. Up, dog. Did you already peak a dot? If not, yeah, we looked at it, I think. Yep, hit uh, exceeded targets, the fib extensions. Here you go, dude. All right, set up an alert on uh, loop ring. If we break that neckline, we'll hear the beep. So
so uh, what was the next one? I don't know. I don't think I owe any spins or anything, right? Oh, nano to BTC. I guess someone wanted to see. Actually, looks pretty good. Uh, unbelievable, dude. Actually, looks pretty good. Hi, man. What about Rose? 0 0.0817021 LTC. So, well, man, I'm sure it looks fine. But if you want, man, we can look at it. Nano. Here's your nano. Look at this. Nano to Bitcoin, four hours. This range you've been in since July 2019. Look how you fell out of it. But then you, you broke back above it, and then you're back testing what was once support as support again. Not once, but now twice. You've sprung and you back tested the spring. So uh, I would think the target would be 1300 sats at this level. Yep. Yes, I think this has upside, and I, if it, you were in target, you'd be saying 1300 sats to 1478 sats. That'd be the zone here. Okay, a low, a higher low, a spring, a back test of a spring, a uh, bullish convergence on the oscillators, and again, yep, that's where it'd be headed 1300 sats. Nothing, you want nothing to do on nano, but to be to see below 825 sats or whatever, this 822 sats. Okay, that's it, man. That's nano, not bad. Pretty interesting chart. Can't believe it, you know? Place my links with the Twitch link. Huh. What? I need to do that. Twitch link. Give me a second, man. I'm trying to deal with this one-up coin stuff. What is my Twitch link on one-up coin? I mean, I never changed anything. Okay, let me change this to this. Okay, good luck, uh, Loop Ring Man. This could be a good one. This could be a doozy, a real nice doozy here. Nano to BTZ actually looks interesting too. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll go back to GRT. So, since it hit the first target of the trade setup, it's pulled back, right? Not that, not too much, right? It just went up, touched it, profit taking, and it's just hanging out and could very well later attempt to, it probably will attempt again to break it, whether it really breaks, I don't know, but at least to go test and try again, second attempt. You get that all the time, man. Confirmation tests, even on insignificant time scales. All right, um, so you break that, uh, won't take much to get to much higher levels, okay. There's your GRT, nothing more to talk about besides it was a trade setup posted yesterday. That's it. Literally it, man. Ew. Don't be shilling RFCTR. Stop acting like... You realize how many people have shilled S-coins over the years here? We're on... We, we can smell this crap a mile away. So don't even try it, man. Don't even try it. This is not... But you could do it in 99.9% .9 of other channels. Other live streams, you can shill your crap. And try to be, you know, try to be sneaky about it. Okay, just don't do it. <sighs> Unreal. They never learned that. They never learned that this is not the right approach.
I'm not sure if I like this. It's like, uh, I'm not sure how amazing this chart looks, but uh, it's like a descending, right angled and ascending broadening formation. It is my worst performance. It's a swan move against the coin. So bad. <clears throat> hey, Smitty, thanks so much, dude. Uh, great merchandise piece right there. All the Japanese candlesticks. And you're supporting the stream at the same time. Great looking stuff in the office. Thank you, man. Okay, not really sure how I feel about this asset. Doesn't really look good to me, man. Like it's almost like a impulse down bear flag. Uh, just, just bearish consolidation is just struggling to catch bids and it's just the buyers push it up uh, but they're just I don't know there's not enough man it looks like there's a huge buying climax like a high the lower high the lower high a lower high a lower high consecutive lower highs now look a low a lower low the lowest low consecutive lower highs consecutive lower lows since uh, March so I don't know man about that you ever break this 1381 area you probably do for a big drawdown could take you down to 1044 or something all right not sure what's so great about it almost like head and shoulders crap too i don't know man no thanks but good luck to you all right rose coin we can go back to that one well i don't think we looked at it today rose kiss by rose connect up, uh, you know, it was up like a lot yesterday. That's it, man. See, it's 6.2 cents now. The thing is, what it's trying to do, uh, this could be another GRT situation where uh, buyers are absorbing the remaining supply at 5.449 cents, right? That peak from November 23rd, clear uh, price action December 14th, clearly a resistance January 7th, and again. So once you break that real fast, this asset could run to 6.2 cents. You break 6.2 cents, you're talking about 71 cents and then eventually 78 cents. But uh, this was gorgeous, man. Beautiful double bottom at the PCZ above te pretty textbook bullish cipher pattern. With divergence, I think, on the daily. It was perfect, man. That's it. Beautiful. So that's just your update on Rose that was, uh, I think it was like 4.5 cents yesterday. Tremendous appreciation in a short period of time. And it's all because of the TA probably. Oh, dash. That was requested. Yep, Dash uh, showing some hidden bullish divergence on the oscillators, a low, a higher low. It's not the greatest in the world by far, but uh, it's just like an X, A, B, C, banking on the higher low C to where the next wave begins and we run up. A lot of resistance here though, not, I mean, it's kind of tough here because it's like you just failed to break out. You broke back into kind of the range right the top of the range and then you back tested it as resistance and failed again but on the failure on the rejection you're making a higher low than the previous low and hidden bullish divergence so it's like all right x a b c d stuff and it's like pretty easy to get out you know around a little lower than 119 or whatever once that higher low gets invalidated all right that's it man i mean the four hour oscillators look prime for higher prices but it may not happen dude Brad, I think he's okay, dude. That guy. He wasn't trying to push anything. He's I think he's just literally being happy. Here's my other five for my first spin. Chug up man. Um lemon drop wing, it's it's ten US dollars, not ten Australian dollars, dude. Uh, not to be mean. 
So I think that's like seven, eight dollars you've tipped. Remember, ten United States dollars if you want that. Thank you. Man, it's been a good stream. Been live for over two hours now. Okay. Sweet. What more could you ask for? Dash, it's not great, not terrible. Just kind of banking on the XABC stuff and the hidden bullish difference ushering in D. Just outside the box stuff. All right, you got Cardano up 6.5% multi year highs, if you had not noticed. Beautiful. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a it's a D move because I have rules that are clear and they've been there forever. And then someone doesn't follow them. I, I'm the bad guy, right? Nope. That's not how it works unless you're a child. If you're a child, bye. But if you're an adult and you understand, we abide by rules. Okay, it's not no one's gonna be mad about it. What do we get? 850 likes? Yeah, thanks for the 850 likes. Thanks to the 1,565 people still tuned in on a Saturday. Extended stream time. Don't know how much longer I'll be live. Just been kind of covering some uh, new day price action that's been going on. If you can even believe it, man. Where on the new day, GRT hit the first target of the trade setup. Wonderful. Okay. I gave y'all chances to get me wrecked, but it's okay, dude. I gotta refresh anyway. Hold on. Big ones just doing nothing, just hanging out. Everyone would be starting to tip seven, eight dollars and not ten exactly because they're like, oh, I, oh, it's almost it's close enough and you're a D. I'm gonna call you names if uh, it doesn't hit. If I don't get the minimum. It's like, really? Oh, I didn't. Sorry, dude. Here, I'll this do two spins. Boom, boom. To you, by GRT. you didn't spin for my patriotic contribution about common Ursula. There's one. Here's two. Sorry, dude. Correct. Anon, thanks for uh, the merchandise purchase. Cheers. Enjoy your uh, nice Japanese candlestick artwork. It's very high quality and it looks incredible in person, okay? Thanks, dude. Dude, XLM, what? XLM's looked good. There's been no change. Yeah, it's, it's rallying. It's up almost 5%. Good. So it's just doing what the TA, sort of try, trying to respect the TA a little bit, right? Inverse head and shoulder stuff. Not three rising valleys any in any way. No, it's not. It's look, one shoulder ahead, a right shoulder. Where's your you know three rising valleys? It's like you want to have proportionate higher lows from the previous low. So it's almost like on one low you come the low to high, you get a 50%, 61% retrace. On the next low, low to high, 51 to 50 to 61 percent retrace. See what I'm saying? This is not a three rising mouse. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's just inverse head and shoulders, potentially. They're both bullish ideas. Huh? Michael, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, no, nah, people have tipped like way more money um, to not look at XRP today. And I won't because some kid was in here like being completely immature, practicing extreme amounts of futility, being a troll or whatever about XRP. So we won't look at XRP today. It's done. And you can go watch Alex Cobb if you want to watch. If you want XRP analysis, go to Alex Cobb, okay? If you want to learn about TA, you can stay here, okay?
Hey, look, chat, look. Someone said, uh, TA doesn't work on XRP. Hidden bullish divergence. Your negative momentum was waning. It looked perfect. A higher low, one low, a second low, a third low. Christmas Eve. Gone. Right? Yeah, right. T doesn't work on Bitcoin. Here's five. Do not look at it. Remember, TA doesn't work on Bitcoin. There's Zill. T doesn't work on Bitcoin chat. Right? December 11th. Price was $17,900. You're at nice line. You're showing divergence. You're showing one bottom, a confirmation low, the same low, 200 moving average tested for the first time since October 8th. TA didn't work, by the way. Okay, see ya. Yep. Whatever, dude, you're just a nobody like that just showed up for the first time in your life here. Been doing this, we've been here streaming three days, three years, three years straight. Okay. TA works on Bitcoin all the effing time. It just doesn't show an edge all the time. Oftentimes it doesn't show an edge, and we wait for that. And while we wait for it, we look for other assets that show an edge. So, whatever, man. Noise, noise. Thanks, my man. You as outlying islands. One more try. Spin get wrecked in a positive way. Good luck, dude. Open the chat. Here Let's it is. Here's your luck. Your luck got wrecked. Patron strength, right? Hey, so Zilliqa? What's going on with Zilliqa? Breaking resistance or something? Yes, Chung. Yes. Breaking resistance. Hidden bullish divergence in the daily. Playing out. All right, Zilliqa. Here it is. We got an attempted breakout happening right now on Zill. We're like, it's so funny. People calling me names for defending myself. Y'all are, I mean, the people that are talking crap just get the out of here. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you. I hope you never watch my stream again. Like, please, never watch. My God. Say, like, what are you doing on a Saturday? Talking crap <clears throat> to someone who's living their dream? Like, I am, in case you haven't noticed. Definitely living my dream. And you're not. You're not living your dream if you're just in here talking crap. I win. You lose every single day. So Zillica, you would think, uh, since it's like gone, right? Price discovery. It's gonna probably test this high right here. 84.8 cents. I know there's the high here, but uh, it's just one at a time, man. So Michael, thanks for the 10 super chat. Sam T, thanks for the $25 super chat. My God. Nah, CP, you're just a loser. Bye. You're a never has been and a never will. Is that a weird never will be. Thank you. Oh my god. Data to Ethereum, really? God. Y'all are just y'all just looking for the most major S coin tickers now. I think that's what y'all are doing. God, man. It's like I can't, I can't enjoy myself with just TA. I got to deal with like losers who don't practice TA that uh, just talk crap on, on weekends. You know? Cool. Hmm. Theta to uh, ETH. I mean, definitely could be in store for a mega common retrace, but uh, dude, you're below this high from uh, October 24th. I don't think you want to be below that. Don't think you want to be below that. Because if you do, you're going back down to 152,558 ways. Maybe you double bottom there. Maybe you show an edge. I don't really see an edge right now uh, at this current time. Nope, you're below the 200 moving average consecutively. That I don't like this. It's not really that great right now. Not that great right now, dude. Hey King, we already looked at loop ring. Is the LRC trade set up for how many days? Will there be everyday trade set up if I join Patreon? Really? What kind of question is that? Is there gonna be a trade set up every day? Shark coin alert. 
in Patreon if you join Patreon? No, there's not. I don't want you joining the Patreon with that type of mentality at all. Please don't join the Patreon. If you're just obsessed with trade setups and you just want them handed to you and you want nothing to do with learning about the way I'm teaching. I try to teach people how to trade. If you watch the stream, you know that. You know I want people to succeed, but I don't want you to be dependent on me like some sort of drug addict, okay? I want you to learn to do it yourself so you don't need me, so you're self-sufficient. Look at Zillica. Let's go, dude. 77.65 cents, you're breaking supply line. You're thinking you could go to 84 cents if this holds up, if this sustains, okay? We've got to break out in real time on Zillica. Sweet. Let's add another alert. We break that little previous sign right there. I'll hear the beep. Let's go, Zill, man. But remember, why? Why is this happening right now? Because if you go to the daily, look what's been maturing. It's been in development, man. Look, a low, a higher low, you're just losing negative momentum, and you got back above that 64.491 cent area, and you bullishly engulfed yesterday. Immediate fall through price action and attempting to break out right now. Gorgeous. Good stuff, man. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Sam T wants to spin. Okay. I think I owe a couple. Sorry, dude. You gotta eviscerate the the people not achieving their dreams in life. They don't care to. Um, hot already played out, man. Hot start, like, dude, this was a good, at one point, I was live on stream, and this was it, dude. It was like, you had sprung, you were back testing the spring, not once, but twice. And the target eventually was that high from uh, fe February 15th. You hit it once, you sold off, you hit it twice. So uh, now you're at that ice line again, okay? You're at the ice line. And you're kind of showing a little bit of hidden bullish divergence, yeah? Yep, flip it. Twelve billion dollar market cap on XRP. That means there's a lot more downside potential on XRP as markets continue to flood out of it. Why would market participants want to deal with that crap? Just like exchanges don't want to deal with it. They can't, so they're out. So imagine when the institutional money coming into space. What institution is going to want to touch XRP? Spoiler alert: They're not going to want to. The only people saying that that are the Kool Aid XRP moon boys. So you're testing the 200 moving average for the first time uh, on hot on the four hour since January 1st. I mean, that is kind of implying upside here. It could bounce. I mean, this is definitely an area where a reversal could occur just like it did January 4th. Look where it went to attempt the rally. So you're, you're back at it the second time. So the second time, I don't know if it's going to be as strong of a bounce, if it's going to bounce at all. But yeah, this is so it's pretty easy to manage risk here where one wants nothing to do with hot below. Um, wow, what is that? Six one hundredths, six point eight one hundredths of a, a cent. So pretty much worthless. This coin's worthless. Yeah, you know, stop below that, and then one would just hold. And if, if it could, you think the the next rally would take you up? Maybe. I mean, you think like eight point three tenths of one cent to nine point four. I'm sorry, hundredths of one cent to nine point four one hundredths of a cent. Okay. That's it. It's actually a pretty interesting area, but I don't know if it's going to catch it. Look, it tested it once. Pathetic rally. It's tested it again. Even more pathetic rally. And is now kind of testing it again. So that's not really like the best price action at an area. It's almost like what could be happening. All right. Uh, sellers are absorbing possibly the remaining demand at this ice line. If it doesn't hold, it's going to break and go all the way down to 5.7 one hundredths of one cent. Okay. So there, there are a lot of assets out there that are showing, I think, maybe a better setup where this is already kind of played out pretty well. But again, like, stay above long enough, it's good. farewell could rally the upside, okay? 
D Phantom, what's up, dude? And before I get called a bunch of names for this, but uh, look me in the eye right now. Look at me, dude. You see me on the webcam? Perfect. There it is. Thanks, D, for the 499 super chat. The non ten dollar super chat re request. Thank you, dude. What's up, Dalgen? Six of the five. You're the perfect amount of nice and thrift. Just ignore the haters, man. Thanks for the TA, Mitch. Bama. What's up, dude? Thanks for the five. Super chat. What's up, Jamie? I gotta refresh the cache again, I guess. It's so broken right now. God, I hate that. I'm at 3090, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, dude. All right, refreshing again. Alright, we're good. I don't know, hot's okay. I mean, it's definitely okay. I mean, it's definitely somewhere where someone could take a trade setup, but like, considering the fact of all the other assets out there showing awesome potential, I might be taking those over hot, but sure, one could be like, it's hot, dude. Pretty simple, right? I mean, just educationally speaking, right? Kind of like this, and then this, like, duh. 3.65 to 1 reward to risk right there. But again, I don't like that it just keeps testing it and it's not, it's making lower highs every time it tests it. So you're good, dude. Just rules are rules. Oh, it's not even a, I thought it was an S coin. It's an S therapeutic. We looked at it, 786, that was the target area. It's exceeded that, are you kidding me? Hitting 886. So your deep retrace is a straight line up. There's not much TA that could be done on this D, right, man? It's like, um, what can be done besides look at Fibonacci, the deepest retrace, and the 100% retrace is $10. So I, at any time, man, it could be reversing. All right, these are areas of value kind of for shorts, but there's not much of an edge right now. God, I'm being Gia. Good luck, man. I don't know. It's we're looking for assets that show an edge down here at levels before they do stuff like this. So, yeah. All right, man, Bitcoin's 36,300. Yup, holding and uh, you gotta love this price action for altcoins because some are getting some exceptional moves up. Guess what's up right now? 10.5%. It's called Cardano chat. And it's hitting, approaching the 1272 VIP extension, a high, I think the highest level ever on this chart. And um, if it breaks this, remember the target of the descending broadening wedge is 41.9 cents. Imagine being a hater, dude. Like, when all I'm trying to do is, like, for free on this stream, give you the tools you need to make money. Like, to change your life positively. And there are people that even with that mentality, trying to help people, there are people that are, like, against that and, and don't want this to succeed or to do well, right? Isn't that crazy that there's like inherent actual evil out there? Evil are the people that try to hinder or stop the other people trying to help other people. That's real. Okay? Very real. Well, let's go. Double digit percentage gainer. Pretty much out, out doing everything but engine. And engine's pulled back a lot. It's only up 19.6%. It was up like 50% earlier today on the new day, right?
Hey, we're back over a trillion market cap on total. I like totals over a trillion for sure. The best kind of totals. Look at it, man. Still great. Just going sideways, right? Going because of that parabolic line, right? You just consolidate before you hit it again. Before going higher, maybe. Yeah, chances are they're broke. Yeah, for sure, man. They have to. No one, no one that has like money and is successful in life comes in to talk crap, especially to someone who's only trying to help other people. For sure. Wow, so you just hit that uh, 1272 on Cardano and you just pull back at it, like, test it like the Jesus man. It's perfect. Very, very perfect, man. All right, man. So, the stream, it's been good. Lots of drama, intrigue, trade setups playing out, people making money. That's it, dude. Moon come, oh my god! Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Thank you, Moon. Calm or corn? Moon corn? It says Moon Calm, but I'm gonna call you Moon Corn. Because, like, the Corn Moon, there was an amazing rally, I think, after the Corn Moon for Bitcoin last year. So, ACB, uh, consecutive higher lows. I like it. I like consecutive higher lows. Was it all-time lows though? Let's see. Big, big resistance, 1353. You break 1353, you're going up to 1964, right? Uh, a lot of upside on this asset, man. If it uh, actually begins to reverse for real, and we just don't know yet. I see one low, I see a second low, I see a third low here and I see a resistance at 1350 you break that again there could be a huge markup in price that's it that's like literally it I mean after that it's kind of just like look like a low from November 19th uh, 2019 and then a high of February 2020 I mean after 20 bucks it'd go to 26 dollars and then just one at a time man it's it was terrible it was awful this asset has a lot of upside it's maybe creating a Wyckoff range or something and man, like for a common retrace, just think about it like this on ACB. Think about the federally legalized weed. If any administration is going to do it, it'll probably be this one, right? Let's keep people locked up. Let's keep them high and, and you know, on drugs and dependent on us, right? Okay, sure. So weed gets federally legalized. Then this thing eventually moons, you know, 23% retrace is $32. Think about that. Just your most shallow retrace, $32, okay? And then if you're talking about just a common retrace, eventually 49.48 to 77.70. Okay, sweet. It all starts with stuff like this at the bottom, okay? If it's gonna reverse, it, it, it will take a while probably. Share to you about to go again? Yeah, not surprising. Not surprising at all. Just because they did one little profit taking level. Look what's happening when these trade setups are playing out. They're not just hitting the profit taking level and then crashing and it's over. Like they'll hit, they'll pull back, people take profit, and then it go more bids come in and it goes to much higher levels and exceeds the targets, right? Uh Mooncom wants to see Bitcoin again. Sure. Uh, again, it's kind of doing nothing, man holding above 35k 34.5 which is great all this do it going on right now that i see is a low on price january 4th a higher low on price january 11th then now another higher low january 15th right i see consecutive higher lows like i see dead people i see higher lows but at the same time i see a high i see a lower high and kind of another lower high so what is that price contraction neutral there's no edge on bitcoin but again man that kind of 
consecutive higher lows, man. It's not really bad. Okay, you hold 34.5 long enough, dude. It, it's going up to 40K again. All right? Let's hold it. Now, if you break 34.5, you're in trouble. You're probably going to go to 30K. But the way these altcoins have been playing out, man, really leads you to believe maybe it's not over yet. Okay? So let's... Without so much of a very strong edge on Bitcoin right now, the altcoins have been showing an edge and they have been playing out. The TA has been respected while Bitcoin stalls and just consolidates. So there are times to trade Bitcoin and it seems like there are times to trade altcoins, right? So congrats on GRT and Cardano and Rose. Wait on XLM still. It's uh, it's going. I mean, XLM. It's like another kind of unofficial, more unofficial trade setup. But this is it. Dude. This is great. This looked great and looked better yesterday. And now look at it. Above twenty seven point eight five five cents. That's that's historical. That's from history. Looking left from twenty eighteen or so. So this is great. I mean, you're working on a. You see what's happening on the four hour. If this, if you closed right now, then XLM's painting a four hour rising three methods pattern. Do you? Do you all see this? five Japanese candlestick pattern. The fifth candle has to engulf the previous three and close higher than the first candle. That's going on. Two hours, 22 minutes though. So it could end up much higher, but at this time, that's exactly what you're looking for. A bullish continuation pattern. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, also CRV, sure. Is it doing something right now? I need to add that to the newer S coin list. I forget that. Yeah. So look at it. Yeah, my God, dude. CRV chat. It's up 19.58% today. Today has only been around for an hour and 38 minutes. So. TA didn't work, man, says Aloha IQ scrub, right? TA didn't work, man. Okay. How many times does it have to play out before you finally they finally say, oh, it does work. Wow. It can work. What? <sighs> this is beautiful. So see you at uh, 148, most likely. There's no resistance really looking left till 148. So Just waiting patiently now, winking face. Can we please have a look at Doge? Yes. Learning loads with the Patreon. Thank you, Prash. I'm glad you are. Uh, Doge is like trying to hold on to this uh, 8.4 tenths of one cent area. The longer it holds that, the higher probability it becomes it rallies to probably test its high again. I mean, I know it like fell, you know, lower. Um, because Bitcoin dumped, but it's back above the ice line and it's holding okay. It's bullish consolidation. And anything eventually above, my God, 2.7 tenths of one cent is gonna end up making hidden bullish divergence. So I think you stick, look, 8.3 tenths of one cent. It's a orange line here. It's above it, stay above it long enough. It'll eventually run to test 1.3 cents again, okay? That's it. There's support on the way down. So dude. No, TA works extremely well in bear markets. My God, like you you probably weren't around watching the stream when we were in the bear market where dude, the daily bearish divergence was, imp, imp, it was perfect. Rising wedges, bearish ciphers, over and bear flags, bull pull bear, or bear pull bear flags. TA was so well respected on Bitcoin on the way down and up. But you only know that if you were watching the stream when I was here every single day analyzing it. But of course you can say that, so. T is respected up or down. Bear market, bull market, doesn't matter for Bitcoin.
Okay, man, what a stream. Been live uh, two hours, 33 minutes. Thanks to the 1,000, 400 plus people here. 49 likes away from 1,000. I get it. I should have done better, a better job streaming today and doing TA. I'll try to do better next time, I guess. Okay, thanks for the likes, love, support, contributions, everything. Can I go enjoy the rest of my Saturday? I implore you to do the same. I'll be back. Until next time, respect the TA.
those turd nuggets?